Hello everyone, welcome to Tidystat YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to perform descriptive statistic analysis in SPSS software. Descriptive statistics is a branch of statistics that deals with collection, presentation, summary, and interpretation of data. Its primary purpose is to describe the features of a dataset through numerical and graphical methods. Descriptive statistics are used to provide an overview or snapshot of the characteristics of a dataset without making inferences or drawing conclusions beyond the data itself. The key components of the descriptive statistics include measures of central tendency, such as mean, median, mode, you know that, which describe the typical or central value of a dataset, measures of variability or dispersion, such as range, variance, and standard deviation, which indicate how spread out the values in the dataset are, and graphical representations such as histogram, box plots, bar graph, and so on, which visually depict the distribution and patterns within the data. In this tutorial, I prepared 50 records of students' data that contains their three subject score, math score, biology score, and also history score. Let's perform the descriptive statistics analysis so we can get more meaningful and insightful information from this raw data. Go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then select Descriptives. Here, let's select the variable that we want to analyze. Let's select these three variables and compare the data after we see the output table. And then, click the options here to select the option that SPSS provide. I'll check the mean, standard deviation, okay, minimum, maximum, and I'll also check the variance, the range, and kurtosis, and also skewness. Great, it's enough for me. And if you want to set the display order based on the variable, alphabetic, and based on the ascending or descending short, you can do this here, but I'll just leave it by default click continue if you want to show the standardized value at the output table you can check this option here but for now I don't want to show it just leave it and then click OK great now you have the descriptive statistic analysis for these three variables that displayed in your output table let's dive into this table one by one if you take a look at the end statistics here which shows 50 value it means that all variables contains 50 data and there is no missing values here because we only have 50 data in our worksheet. The range represents the difference between the minimum and maximum values in each subject. For math, biology, and history scores, the range are 67, 69, and 69 respectively. This indicates the spread of scores within each subject. The minimum and maximum scores provide the lowest and the highest value attained in each subject. For math, biology, and high storage score, the minimum scores are 32, 30, and 30 respectively, while the maximum scores are 99 for all three subjects. The mean or average score for each subject provides a measure of central tendency representing the typical or average score obtained. For math, biology, and history scores, the means are 66.26, 60.10, and 65.54, respectively. If we compare the mean score across subjects, we see that the math has the highest mean of score, followed by history and then biology. This suggests that, on average, students perform best in math and least in biology. If we take a look at the variance and standard deviation column, Math score has the highest variance and standard deviation, followed by biology score and history scores. This suggests that there is more variability in score for history compared to math and biology. You see at the standard deviation and variance column, history is the highest standard deviation and variance value, followed by biology and math score. It means that there is more variability in history compared to biology and math. You see that at the skewness column, the math score and history score are negative, which means these two variables are left skewed, and the biology score for skewness value is positive, which means these variables is right skewed. 
You can also see the courtesy's value for these three variables are all negative. Okay, I think we forgot one key component of this descriptive statistics. The first one is the measure of central tendency, which is represents the mean, the maximum, minimum, and so on. The measure of variability, and we have the variance and standard deviation here, but we don't have any graphical representation. Actually, you can make it easily, the graph of this table, just by double click it the table sorry here we have the pivot table descriptive statistics dialog box and you can do more modification here to the table and I'll just perform the grab process here select the variable that we want to create the grab I'll just make it uh, sorry until the variance uh, column and then right click next select the create graph and let me just select the bar option here minimize it and great you now have a descriptive statistics a graph based on the output table that you've made earlier based on this graph you can see statistical measurements that based on the descriptive statistics output such as variance standard deviation mean and so on and you can compare it variable to variable so it will give more meaningful information you can also change the color or the scale of this data okay let me close this dialog box and actually this is not the only method that you can use to perform the descriptive statistics analysis and i prefer to use the explore feature in spss because it provides more information and detailed information so we can compare the data based to variable to variable go to analyze descriptive statistics and then select explore here great oh let me reset it first and select the variable that we want to analyze to the dependent list uh, box here move it all here at the display option you can also show the statistics plots and both and here for now let me select just the statistic options at the statistics option here click it and let's select the options that SPSS provides for us if you want to show the outliers just click it and then click continue you can also check the options here and just leave it and then click OK see here you have two output table if you use the explore feature the case processing summary and also the descriptive table here you have mean, median, variance, range, and so on. It shows the, the descriptive statistics in detail for each measurement properly. You can also check the extreme values here, the highest and the lowest. Great. If you want to use the export feature, it's better. That's it. See you in another video.